Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Well, I'm back and as I have promised that I'm going to make videos of Clan Swift and uh, I will going to display that how we will, you know, uh, prepare the bill of quantities and prepare quantities estimation through Clan Swift and using uh, Excel. So for that purpose, let me just uh, uh, you know explain what i do so i am basically a civil engineer and uh, i am providing my estimation and takeoff services in pakistan india usa uh, united states and uh, canada so basically what i do is i prepare takeoffs using estimation softwares which are plan shift and blue beam which i mainly use and then i transfer those quantities into the editable excel so if you want to see more details about my workings i will be uh, you know dropping my website at here and in the description box uh, go check it and uh, once you check it scroll down through my portfolio look my portfolio and see what i do and at bank bank we are going to have a business deal right so check my website and uh, drop your uh, you know plans in my email and i will be sending a quote and coming back to the video now so you know uh, today we will be starting uh, you know a project so this is actually a demo project which i have prepared for you so first of all we will be using pdf drawings because these both software plan shift and bluebeam they both are using pdf based software so we will just we will load that uh, file into our software and then we will be start working on it so well, from now on so from now on our videos will be consisting of two parts in first part in first part in first part i will be explaining that how we will perform and then in the second part we will be showing you uh, you know a live demonstration in which i will be sharing my screen with you so so i believe uh, you will be liking my this whole series which i am going to make for you so let's start so first of all let's start plan shift so you know just uh, while it's launches let me start that how we will be how we will be doing this so basically it's all thing it's all like that i will be going to you know upload my drawings into this software and then we will be starting uh, to estimate and we will be starting to organize our estimate in excel file like we are going to perform actual activities in field you know how that first we do excavation of the site and then we will go to you know foundations and then we go to we are going to prepare the substructure and then we are going to move to the superstructure so i would like to basically uh, so i like to organize my estimate in this format so that's why I'm going to use the same exact format with you people. So uh, my software is opened. So let's go and see first of all how we will, you know, uh, put our information, put our plans into our software. For that, we will have to load a new project. So you can click it here, new. And uh, yes, you need to give your project name. So it will be project sample estimation. So uh, you know these are the two different locations you can define. So by default you are having local, uh, you know, uh, storage location, local storage location for your jobs. But uh, again, you can define yourself. I have already defined myself as new folder storage, and then there are different you know measurement types that depends upon your system. Which systems are you using? So basically, uh, the drawings which I have, you know, you know, prepared for this exercise is it is an English system. So I will going to keep English here, and then I will going to locate basically the file which we are going to. I have put it on desktop. Uh, yes, now I have to locate those files which I will going to. Uh, you know load in my project so that will be the i have made a folder of project and there are you know 16 different drawings 
116 and then 64. Then I will be going to put next. So here's the sum setting. Which you will be performing in takeoff. With every job you are going to board them. So first of all, these are the you know text files, F sub frequencies. As you know, the number that actually converts your file into an image format. So do not it's a more more or less technical thing. So I would recommend that keep it 200 as always. And uh, again, you can you know that depends upon you that in which format you want to see your drawings. I would like to see it in true color. And uh, then go next. Uh, no need to add anything here. And then finish. So as soon as you click finish, your job is loading now. You can see the bar status bar, which is you know forwarding ahead and yes now our project is loaded and you can see that we have different uh, pages this pages and bookmarks tab is showing you that we are having a uh, lot of pages in this case we are having 16 pages in our you know uh, project and same like we are having many different tabs and some options at the down which are set of some this will show you that what things or what material you have estimated till now so right now we do not have any, uh, you know, we do not have any, any type of, you know, type of perform. So it's empty. And then we have notes, which we have our personal notes, which we are, you know, which we like to keep it for our, which help us in our estimation process. So let's move back to pages and bookmarks. So first of all, let me just uh, move them in a sequence. Um, just select them and drag in them and drag them down to there. Desired location, and yes, if we now just have a quick cover on you know, uh, times we will see that on um, time one, uh, this is the ground floor plan, and on the second, we have first floor, on the third, we have top floor plan, which shows us you know the messaging and all the, the details. On the fourth plan, we are having the column layer. C1, C3, C1S, C2, C3, C4. So I guess there are four different types of columns. And then on five, we are having a backfill material. So there's actually this is a drawing of backfill. So on the sixth, we are having wall putting. Yes, that we have stands for wall putting. So yes, we are having their foundation plan. So basically, this whole the purpose of this whole reviewing is that you should know that what is in your drawings. So first of all, whenever you load your drawing, just have a uh, you know quick brief, have a quick peek on your drawings that uh, you know uh, you need to know that what is in your plan. So if I just uh, have a look at this plan specifically, I'm going to see that we will be having two sections in this set, section X and section Y, which will be you know uh, will, which will be in the following sheets. And then we have footing, we have wall footing, we will be having some isolated footing. And yes, one other thing, I am noticing a retaining wall on the west side of you know, our project, our building. So this is our other view, which I believe it will be retaining wall footing. So anyhow, let's move to our next page. This shows us about LBT. This might be the, you know, plant beam diagram. And then this might be the lentils. And then these are again the lentils of top floor that we move down. So this is actually the reinforcement plan of the slab. Yes, so this will be yes, six and something steps. So exactly. So we will be having so you know this is a, a slab plan, reinforcement creep slab plan. And uh, yes, we are having details of reinforcement as well. On the 11th that you know then move ahead to the next floor. And this one is the top floor on 13. Yes, so this is the excavation plan of the site, which shows that you need to excavate in this area and you do not need to excavate in this area. Anyhow, let's go to the team. and yes, we are having two sections, which we have defined already. Section X is cutting through, you know, I guess from north to south. Yes, it was cutting from north to south. And then the extension Y, which was cutting our whole building in the direction of west to east. So yes, this is our FFL level which we will have to achieve. Uh, you know, but our reduced level right now is this. So basically, this shows us that we need to have a back filling at the end of two feet. Uh, we will need to have a back filling at the end, which will be two feet today. So yes, this is the almost information we can get. So these are the you know. 
sections and different details of your columns and being on it. String details, actually, column details and column setting details. So, that is basically a whole uh, which we have uh, in our so Now, you know, uh, this is how you load your plan, this is how you load your, uh, you know, plans in your uh, plan set. But the next thing is your, you know, movability, your, uh, you know, the way you communicate in your plans. So the numbers, these one, two, three, doesn't explain anything to me. Uh, do not, so these numbers uh, do not explain anything to me. So these are just a number. So this should be some, you know, uh, a meaningful number written on these tabs. Huh? For that, we will need to have to go to page tab and we will need to batch green and pages. So as soon as you click it, so normally we have title block and we have written the, you know, uh, sheet number at this portion. So it uh, zooms to, it is zooming to the tab portion by default. But yes, now we can write over here for our, you know, personal uh, understanding that what is this. So this is actually the ground floor plan. And then basically, yes, you know, you are just giving a name to your different sheets. This is first floor plan. This will be top floor plan. Uh, yes, this will be top floor. Just rename all the pages. So that will help you. Uh, you know that uh, uh, how will that will help you and will make your process efficient actually. So if you want to move around in your plans, so it will help you to move in your uh, to maneuver the visual uh, whole estimation or whole type of process. So I'm just renaming it. Accordingly, there is a slab of second floor, and then there is a slab of top floor, and yes, we have the question plan, and yes, we are having the sections, and we are having the green details, and again, we are having the column. Okay. So, yes, as soon as you reach the last tab and you click enter, the tab will be disappeared. So, there is how. Now you see if you have registered, now it is giving you a meaningful information. See? Ground floor plan, floor plan. Now, if you are at the laptop and now you need to move to some specific page, you can just read the plan in this. I'm going to go to the text. Yes. So, like before, you need to check each and every page. So, this time, you do not need to check anything. And... Uh, you can just easily maneuver over the sheet and perform your papers. So I believe that is much of a all for today's session. So I believe today's session was productive for you and I just explained you different, you know, basics of the lenses. So of course I will be making following videos and we will be, you know, going ahead uh, throughout this simple project. It's so much all from my side. Now, if you want your professional estimate services for your projects, go into the description box, visit my website, send me plans, get a code, and boom, we will be having a good business. So, bye-bye, take care, and also support me on Patreon, subscribe me, like me, and share my videos. Thank you very much.